This is a tutorial on how to use the TAS plugin so that you can create some sizes for yourself. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up the Bakke's Mod F2 settings window, go to the MISC tab, and enable notifications. The plugin will use this to send you some information up here in the top right throughout uh, making a TAS and whatnot. It'd be good to have that on. Then under the plugins tab, you're going to want to go to TAS plugin. If you're wondering why mine is up here and not in the list, you can right click these, click favorite, and that puts your favorites up here. I'll just go ahead and click that again to take it away. So with the TAS plugin, we have four tabs here that we'll use for our TAS. Files, this is where all of your saved TASs are. Uh, they save to a file. We'll show you where that file location is. The loaded TAS, once we load one in from a file or create a new one, it'll appear here. The controls for the TAS, starting it, stopping it, updating inputs, creating a new one. Setting our replay and record speed. Go ahead and set this to one real quick. And then the settings tab, which we can start our replay on reset. Uh, we have different starting recording options. Mine is just set to boost. And we'll go over the pop-up settings. So to create a new task, if we hover over this, it tells us we need to enter free play. So let's go ahead and just load up free play to get started. So jumping back into here, we have new tasks. We can now click this. We'll give this a name, call this example task, create. We can see that our task has been created. And now if we go to load a task, we have our car starting position and ball starting position. Whenever you click new task, it'll read in where your car is at and the ball is at and create a new task. If for some reason you're unhappy with that, you can come in here and manually edit these, location, rotation, whatever, for the car and the ball. I, I would just do that right at the start whenever you create it. If you go back and do this later after you've already made some inputs, it's not going to replay correctly. You can also see we have our hitbox type here and our air sensitivity and steer sensitivity values. These three are going to need to be the same in order for us to start a task. I can show an example of this. If I go ahead and change my steer sensitivity a little bit, and if I try to click start now, it's going to tell me 1 is expected, but it has 3.76. So make sure that they are the same. You can always check what's expected here. So let's go ahead and fix that, changing this back. Same thing will happen with air sensitivity and your hitbox type. So. In order to get started, we'll just click start. It'll put us back into our starting position. And you can see it's recording at the top. So we'll just do a little air dribble over here. Nothing too fancy. I'm kind of losing it. It's fine. Well, that's what we got for our base to work with. I'll click stop. So everything that I've done right now is stored into memory but it hasn't been applied to our tasks. We'll click update. We can see that our new inputs are applied. Now if we click start, it's replaying now. I can't do anything here. Not unless I have the start recording options. So once I click boost, it'll take us out of replay and into record. So I'll press boost now. You can see it changed. We're able to change up what we're doing here a little bit. Bring it down, air dribble it up. Ah, you know, I'm not too happy with that. So we'll click stop, but I won't click update this time because I don't want those inputs there. And this time I want to actually slow down my recording speed a little bit so that I can have a little bit better control whenever I try this next time. So you can see we're replaying at normal speed here. We'll get this first touch, and now I'll press boost, and you can see the game has slowed down a bit. And it is a little weird playing in slow motion. But we'll try and air dribble this back over to the wall. We get a pinch up. Shoot. Ah, we didn't quite get it. That's fine. We'll stop, update, give it one more try to get the shot in. And we already know what this beginning is like, so I'm going to speed it up. We can get through this beginning just a little bit faster. You'll be able to see the jump a little bit more here. Once we do this, went a little too far. 
we'll just score this. Now we've got a little a little shot made. So we'll stop that update. And we can watch this thing in full speed. We'll change our replay speed back to one. And I'm gonna press reset. You don't want to start whenever you're in a replay. So just make sure that you're not in a replay whenever you click start. Now we'll just watch this in full speed. But basically you just uh, apply that over and over where you stop, update inputs that you're happy with, and build up from there. We can see this replaying in full speed now. Air dribbling it back to the wall. And we're going to do my, uh, my little goal that I got here. Cool. So we'll bring this back to a starting position. And now I'm happy with this, I want to save it. So I click save. We get that it's saved to a file, and if we come over here, we can see that it's now loaded into the file here, or loaded into the files tab here. So now in controls, I want to make a new task starting from this position. Whenever I click this, we get a little pop-up warning us that we have a loaded task, just making sure that you save it to a file. Uh, if you want to discard it or you've already saved it, you can click create. Otherwise, click cancel, go back, finish making your changes. We'll click create. We'll call this one new task create. So now here we have new tasks. It's going to have a new lo starting location here. We'll go ahead and just do something really quick with this. Start. Didn't quite score that. It's fine. We don't need to score it. We'll just go ahead and stop it there. Stop. Update it. And then we'll go ahead and save this one. So now we have two Tazes here. There is a feature in here. If I click Save Taz now, we already have a file named New Taz. If I click this, it's going to warn us that we already have a file. We can choose to overwrite it or cancel this. Same thing with files. If we want to delete this one from our file, we can click this. We'll get another pop-up warning us, making sure we actually want to delete this. So we'll delete it. And then we'll load back in our last one. So we just click our load, go to controls, click start, and this is going to be our first task that we had made. And so yeah, you can use this to build up some really cool shots, do things that you normally wouldn't be able to do by yourself. Um, the ball cam, you have to manually toggle the ball cam on and off. You want it to follow on a replay. Just a little note for you there. If this text up here at the top is annoying you, you can turn it off by going to the Plugin Manager, Open Plugin Manager, and finding Taz Plugin down here will turn it off. And now it's not loaded in here anymore and you don't have the text. So we can just turn it back on and off right here. Turn it on. You can also use a bind. So we're going to type in Plugin Unload Taz Plugin. You can use tab auto completion right here and that'll unload it and then we can also do plug and load Taz plugin to load it back up and you can also set these as binds here under bindings so for my uh, we'll put it on my four key sure just double click this we want to add one double click this and then we can do plug in unload Taz plugin as the command. So we'll save this, save it again. So now, whenever I hit my four key, it's going to unload it. it. Does the other block as much stuff as well, but that's fine. Go ahead and load it back up. And along with the binds, you can use that for the start, stop, and update that we were using up here by clicking these buttons. If you don't want to open this menu every single time, so start, stop, update, you can bind to whatever you want. You can find these here with as underscore start, stop. So start will just start us. Oh yes, I unloaded the plugin and I didn't load back up. So let's go ahead and load this. Then if we do Taz start, it's going to start us whenever we want. We can just say Taz stop. That's going to stop us. So you can bind those to buttons to easily do it. There's also the Taz update, which after you stop, you can then update to apply your stuff. 
And if you just want to do them all in one to stop and update, you're happy with what you've done, just want to do it real quick, you can use Taz, Stop, and Update. One bind I forgot to talk about is the Taz Change Speed bind. What this will do is while you are replaying, you can change between your replay and record speed while not leaving your replay mode. So if we click start here, you can see I have a high replay speed, low record speed, we'll even lower this down more. You can see whenever I start, we're moving around super fast following around the ball. And this can be hard to jump into a specific spot. But if I know if I'm getting close, I'll press up on my D-pad. We're still replaying right now. We haven't left this. But now I can watch it a little bit slower motion and see exactly where I'm going to jump in. I want to go a little bit further, so I'll change it back. Now I want to come in about here. I will go a little bit further. Right here is where I want to jump in. So now I can jump in and do everything else the same. But you can use that command to help you jump in exactly where you want. To have a high replay speed, a low record speed. And actually be able to continue where you would like to continue. So if you want to find where your tasks are saved, you can easily do so by opening up the Bakis mod injector, going to File, Open Bakis mod folder, then from here go to the Data folder, and then the Taz plugin folder. Then all of your tasks will be saved here with the .data extension, and you can use this to share with some of your friends so they can see what you've done. You can collaborate with them, work on a you work on the first part, they take it, they do the next part, give it back, and whatnot. Uh, an important note with this though, whenever you're sharing this, it'll only work across the same CPU brands. So if you use an Intel like I have to make this, it'll only work with other people that have an Intel CPU. I can't give this, for example, to somebody with an AMD, but if you have AMD, you can give it to somebody else with AMD. Um, it just doesn't work across CPU brands. This is a Rocket League thing, not a plugin thing, unfortunately. So just be mindful of that. And also, just good general advice, don't download files from people that you don't know and don't trust. So don't be getting random tazes from people. But that's where you can find the files, how you can use it. Any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.